Not expecting any world records here. The Albert Bartlett novices hurdle their away in racing in testing conditions over three miles. And the jukebox man goes on into an early lead from Stella Story in the white cap, Dancing City on the outside. And then back on the inside in the McManus colors is Johnny Who. Behind these is Search for Glory and Chiggerin and Reading Tommy Wrong as they jump the first and Captain Teague not far behind those. Gidley Park is settled towards the rear behind High Class Hero. And then uh, Lecky Watson, Spread Boss Ted is probably just the back marker. Dripsy Moon towards the rear of the field as they landed over the second flight. And it's the jukebox man that leads the way in the hands of Keelan Woods. Out clear by four, five lengths to Dancing City and Stella Story over the third. Then Johnny Who and Search for Glory and Captain Teague. They're followed by Reading Tommy Wrong, the favourite in the double green jacket. Chiggerin is out wide of Lecky Watson, then Gidley Park and Dripsy Moon. And on the inside, Spread Boss Ted and uh, High Class Hero also towards the rear of the field as they make the top turn for the first time. And up front, it's uh, the Jukebox Man in the Harry Redknapp colours by five lengths. Two in second, Stella Story and Dancing City in third. Then uh, Johnny Who and then Search for Glory behind those. Captain Teague is held up in sixth place in the hands of Harry Cobden. Reading Tommy Wrong and Paul Town in just in behind Captain Teague. Then behind these is Chigrin on the outside of Lecky Watson. Dripsy Moon the inside of Gidley Park and High Class Hero as they make the top turn. And Spread Boss Ted probably just the back marker in the light blue sleeves on the inside of High Class Hero. The jukebox man opening up at this stage goes about six lengths clear of in second stellar story. Dancing City held together in third. Then Johnny Who and Search for Glory and Captain Teague. Reading Tommy Wrong just behind Captain Teague still. Then Lecky Watson, Chiggerin out very wide is High Class Hero. Back on the inside spread, Boss Ted and then Dripsy Moon at the back with Gidley Park as they jump the next and the leader skipped over it in good style. The Jukebox Man. The Jukebox Man. Clear still from Stella Story and Dancing City. They've been the one, two, three throughout this first circuit. Followed by Johnny Who and Search for Glory, Captain Teague traveling well within himself, but these are still early strides. Then reading Tommy Wrong in the double green, the pace very steady in behind this leader. Dripsy Moon, they're all close together. Lexi Watson, Spread Boss Ted, Gidley Park with loads of cover held up at the back in the maroon and orange jacket. Then High Class Hero way to the left in the red with the lighter hoop and armlets. And Chigrin also held together on towards the flight in front of the stands with just over a circuit ahead of them. And the jukebox man by two lengths here to Stella Story. Dancing City came up well in third from Johnny Who in fourth. In fifth then is Search for Glory and Captain T sneaking up his inside. Reading Tommy Wrong has taken quite a good hold there as they raced uh, towards the back straight. Out wide is high class hero Chiggerin and then Gidley Park and Lecky Watson. Spread boss Ted and also at the back is Dripsy Moon. Well, the pace has got very steady indeed, and it's all going to unfold on this uh, final part of the race over the last two or three flights here as they race along the back straight. And the jukebox man may be pressing on a little, a length to Stella story. Visually, it might have increased slightly. Then Johnny Who, Dancing City, reading Tommy Wrong, town in still with his hands full. Followed by Search for Glory. Chegarin making a little move on the outside. The others all close up. Captain Teague on the inside of Lecky Watson. Gidley Park, high class here and at the back. A Dripsy Moon and Spread Boss Ted. Lovely jump by the leader, the jukebox man. Landing about a length and a half ahead of Stella Story and Dancing City. And Johnny Who reading Tommy Wrong. And Search for Glory jumping the next. All cleanly over that one high class hero towards the back of the field but still only about eight or nine lengths probably behind this leader as they begin the climb now. The jukebox man still leading the way. Stella Story is still second. Johnny Who moving up on the inside of Dancing City, then Captain Teague, then Search for Glory, then reading Tommy Wrong as they now approach the third last flight of hurdles. The jukebox man by length coming into it, over in front from Stella Story in second. 
Then on the inside, Johnny Who, Dancing City, Reading Tommy Wrong, Search for Glory. Lots of chances at the top of the hill. Captain Teague, then Leckie Watson. Gidley Park is getting a little bit closer, just nudged along, however, Gidley Park. And then behind these is High Class Hero, still held up. Then on the inside, Spread Boss Ted from Chiggerin. As they start on the run down towards the second last and the outsider, Dripsy Moon has dropped away. It's still the jukebox man from Stella Story. They've got three lengths on Johnny Who and Dancing City. Then Captain Teague on the inside of Search for Glory as they run on down the hill then. From reading Tommy Wrong, who's now being woken up the favourite. Gidley Park getting a little closer, might have hit a little flat spot as they jump the second last. Stella Story challenging the jukebox man. Then Johnny Hu over in third. Dancing City in fourth. Captain T gets a slap down the neck from Search for Glory. And then behind these, Leckie Watson stays on from Spread Boss Ted. The jukebox man regains the advantage from Stella Story as they run on towards the final flight. And the jukebox man has found plenty. The jukebox man has kicked three, four lengths clear of Stella Story second. And he's got them at it here. In third place, then Dancing City as they range down towards the final flight. It's the jukebox man for Harry Redknapp and Trainer Ben Pauling, Keelan Woods is clear in the Albert Bartlett. Here it is, the last flight. The jukebox man got in a bit tight. Stella Story rather overjumped. Then in third, Dancing City as they race up the hill. And they're away then from Leckie Watson and Spread Boss Ted. The jukebox man is getting tired. He's beginning to empty. Stella Story is closing as they race up towards the line. Oh, he's been denied. Stella Story on the near side of the jukebox man. It'll go to the judge. Stella Story diving on the near side of the jukebox man, followed home by Dancing City, Spread Boss Ted and Lecky Watson. Now listen, you've been on the wrong side of some close ones this week. I know you had a winner yesterday, you're on the right side of that one. How do you feel? Yeah, no, look, brilliant. Uh, great for Sam, Sam Ewing, you know, he's a big part of my team at home there. Uh, Jack, unfortunately, picked the wrong one, but uh, look, we knew both horses did, but this has a big chaser for next year. And look, delighted for Michael O'Leary, uh, Jig and Sound, Michael and Anita, uh, and the whole team. Uh, look, they're massive supporters of me, so to get the winners, unbelievable. Uh, you, you don't realise how good of a man he is. He's, he's second, there's no one like him. Yeah, look, he was a big price coming into this. Did, did you feel he had a, a serious chance? We did, yeah, we did. I did all, all of mine were overpriced. Um, but uh, look, he's a big chaser for an extra. That's who he's bought to be, and uh, absolutely delighted. Yeah, looking ahead to the future, that's how you see him. I know it's early, straight off the back of this win, but it, but he's a staying novice chaser into next year, and who knows beyond that? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, Sam Ewing, a, a first festival winner for him, that's massive. Delighted for Sam, he's a big part of our team, so he is. So, yeah, delighted for him. And we've said all week your horse has been running well. They're running well all week, but like, it just goes to show, like, Jack is first jockey, but these lads are sitting and waiting to get on the second strings, and, uh, you know, Sam's got his turn here, so delighted for him. Just quick on the goal cut, are you worried about the ground now, or are you, are you OK? I am a bit worried, I'm fairly drier, but listen, it is what it is, there's nothing we can do, uh, we'll take our chance. A moment for any jockey to savour a first festival success for Sam Ewing in the Grade 1 Albert Bartlett on Stella Story. Many congratulations. Is it sinking in? Not really, to be honest. Um, look, fair play to everyone, to Gordon and Michael and Ayo Leary for putting me up. Um, he's a horse who's a good form all season. You know, he's only five lengths behind Slade Steel and the ground and trip. Everything was right up his street today. He jumped brilliant everywhere and Gallop tried very hard to the line. This was a race dominated from the front. Did they, there was not really much pace on, is that fair? Look, Keelan went, Keelan kind of did his own thing in front and I was happy sitting a couple off him. You know, I was well in my comfort zone and I was jumping brilliant everywhere and only halfway up the run in, I thought I was going to get to him, to be honest. All right, at the, at the last, I mean, he, he didn't jump that one so well and did you think you were you were cooked at that point? Look, there was, there was nothing there and I left him to it and to be fair to him, he knew what he was doing. He came up and he wanted to win. And did you you know at the line that you had got up? Yeah, I was I was ninety percent sure, but I had to look at the screen to be hundred <laughs> percent. You want to wait to hear for the number to be absolutely sure, don't exactly, you? Exactly. Yeah. No, look, it's it's I'm delighted, but at the same time, it's it's a big relief to get to finally ride a Chetland winner. I'm sure it'll be the first of many. I mean, you talk about the the faith that Gordon Elliott and the team have in you, and also Michael O'Leary in the whole Jig and Sand said. I mean, they called you up for completed, didn't they, in the in the Gold Cup last year? Exactly. Look. Um, They've been very good to me, you know, this is only my second season riding over jumps and it's hard to get going, I had no claim from when I finished riding in the flat, so look, I've, I'm so thankful to Gordon Elliott and Noel Mead and Peter Fahey who have all 
helped me along the way. To, you know, to get a ride in a race like this is great, but to win it, to win it's unbelievable. I'm sure you put in a lot of hard yards and a lot of hard work, though. Give us a bit of insight to what that's been like, just to sort of make yourself known and say, look, you know, I, I'm eager to, to do this. Uh, look, no, Gordon, I have to thank him for everything, really, you know. He's given me a lot of chances in, in a lot, long space of time, so... Um, look, when you're riding out with Jack Kennedy, you're learning so much every day, and he's a great help. And my agent Gary Cribben does a great job. So look, I've had a lot of help, and just delighted to get over the moon to get a winner here. And important as well for the team to have a second winner of the week, because the team have come here in absolutely superb form and just kept hitting the crossbar in lots of different races. So you must be delighted to get a second winner on the board for all of them. Yeah, great for them. Look, Gordon's had the horses in top form coming here. They've all been running really well, so delighted for him as well to get another one over the line front. Many congratulations. I'm sure this is going to be the first of any Sam. Well Thank done. you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Watch live racing now on racingtv.com.